in today's project, Sheila comes up with an idea. What was your idea, dear? I wanted an accent wall. She wanted an accent wall. So she went to Lowe's and we found, basically it's a self-adhesive vinyl sticker. <laughs> it's like vinyl wrap for the outside of vehicles, but we do it for the inside. And so we made an, an accent, accent wall. Yeah. Look at that, huh? What do you guys think? You like it? It's a little bit different, huh? I think it turned out good. It's this, um, what is it? It's like a seagrass, blue it's seagrass. It's got a texture to it. And it's got a texture to it. It's like new, it's called new wallpaper. Yeah. To me, it's vinyl wrap for the inside of your vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> Took a while. Um, let's see. I'll, I'll show you just a quick how we put it on. And we had to make sure that we cleaned down the walls really good. A lot of isopropyl alcohol. Make sure there's nothing on it because the texture on these walls was something to deal with. So. That being said, I'll show you a couple pictures and show you how we did it. And there you go, our modification for Switch It Up. We're still getting things ready before we hit the road. Check this one off the list. Okay. So all I'm doing now is, is I'm just simply taking this, I'm overlapping it about an eighth of an inch and going up and overlapping the top about an inch. And I press in the top at first and then I kind of use my hand to squeegee it down just to kind of get it in place. Then I bought some squeegees for outdoor vinyl um, online. And I seal in the top. And I come and work out all the air bubbles down. And then I work across to get out all the kinks. The problem with these walls, they're all textured. So you gotta make sure your walls are super, super clean to make sure that it'll even want to adhere to the walls because it's a very low tack. Once I have it all in place, I come back with uh, I just bought a craft one you do for kids crafts with a sharp end and it has like a really steep angle because then you can get up underneath the um, trim and cut the trim across. And then simply pull down. And then I usually take the squeegee and then seal down that edge one more time. So, now we'll see how the rest of it looks. So, there is an actual perk to this lovely little setup. And that is, when we're done with it, if we don't like it, we can switch it up and change it to a different color. Because we didn't paint it. So, it's actually... I did an alright job, I think texture kind of hides a lot of imperfections too.